biggest banks and their staff badges. The Halifax tweeted an image of a uniform badge for a colleague called Gemma. Below the name it listed Gemma's pronouns, she, her, her. Along with the image was the caption, pronouns matter. It's all about making sure that staff get referred to in line with the gender they identify as and the badges are voluntary. While there were people on social media celebrating Halifax for creating a more inclusive environment, others were quick to abuse the brand of virtue signaling and of being too woke. Halifax did not seem overly concerned by the criticism and in fact was quite firm in reply on Twitter it posted this message. We strive for inclusivity and quality and quite simply in doing what's right. If you disagree with our values, you're welcome to close your account. It was this reply which caused the most controversy and has led to some customers taking the suggestion literally. So I'll give it to you again. We strive for inclusivity, equality, and quite simply in doing what's right. If you disagree with our values, you're welcome to close your account. Many major organizations now encourage staff to state preferred gender pronouns, either in emails or on badges. But Halifax might be the first openly to suggest that customers should take their business elsewhere if they disagree with such a policy. The bank later stood by and saying we care about our customers and colleagues' individual preferences. So for us, the name badges are a very simple solution to accidental misgendering. Wearing a name badge with pronouns included is optional for our colleagues. So perhaps you support the fact you think it's important for big companies to take a stand on social issues, protect their employees. Maybe as a Halifax customer, you're fed up with the second part of it. You don't mind the policy, but you do mind being told if you don't like the policy to push off. Perhaps you have closed your account, but perhaps you think this is a storm 